That that doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I'll look back at 2014 year in review, Crashapalooza. Road across. 2014 was one heck of a year. At FPV Tree Racers, our goal is to inspire, educate, and entertain. And hopefully, you can get all three of those from our failed flights. But first, a quick update for the newcomers. Rotocross is the sport of racing multi-rotors over a course with rough terrain, sharp turns, and elevation changes. We need your help in spreading the word. You can help by liking our videos, embedding them, and to keep current, subscribe to the channel. Now, let's see if we can make lemonade out of these lemons, aka Crashapalooza. We have the good fortune of setting up a permanent pylon course every single weekend, and it provides plenty of action. In fact, this is how FPV racing got started for us. When you crash on a pylon course, it's bad. If you want to see any of these videos in their entirety, just click on the upper right hand corner icon. Our backyard battlefield video showed that you could make a road across course just about anywhere, including your backyard. We talked about weaning yourself off self-level mode and getting more comfortable in rate mode, being more connected to your machine. And our favorite crash, of course, was flying straight into the house. Ouch, that's gonna leave a mark. This was the last video where we were gonna use Sparky. So long, my friend. Noob's Knob was our first official rotocross course. It emphasized turn diversity. The race cam made its inaugural appearance along with formalized racer tips, such as squaring off your entries for inline slaloms and placing the start finish on a straightaway. We emphasized timing your runs and we showed you how to turn your transmitter into a stopwatch. Stinker's Hillside aptly gets his name because it was built on a land dump. This course featured elevation changes, which also exposed the performance deficiencies in our nylon blades. Coming down the hill and trying to air brake on nylon blades was like driving on ice. One of our race tips was how to design safe courses around walking paths. And we re-emphasized our two favorite race tips, always fly a predefined course and always, always time your run. At a 4.9 difficulty, Slalom Fest was twice as hard as any of our previous race courses. The race professor gave us a very nice overview of all the different type of slalom turns we can design into our rotocross courses. Slaloms are a great way of leveling the playing field. It changes the emphasis from having a powerful machine to having great piloting skills. All courses have that one killer turn that just keeps on giving you problems. Ours was this three foot duck under on our entry into twisty section. But as we always say, a smooth sea never made a skilled mariner. Ducky's run was appropriately named for all the numerous duck under obstacles. The race professor gave us a nice overview on all the different types of obstacles that we fly on our rotocross course. Sometimes changing your racing line can make duck unders a little bit easier. Well, sometimes. Ducky's had two killer thread the needle obstacles. But before you tackle them, you gotta get to them first. Ouch. We had, and I kid you not, at least a dozen crashes trying to figure out the racing line for this killer thread the needle. After experiencing just one too many crashes on this wishbone, we now carry pruning shears in our flight case. Those little spindly branches can make for a lot of havoc. Here's a gem of a crash. We barely survive hitting the start finish FPV racer sign, only to be ultimately taken out of the tree on our blind side. Oh, the last course of our 2014 Rotocross series was Master Blaster. At 8.0 difficulty, it challenged us to take all of the skills we had learned from the previous courses and put them to the final test. It featured the flyover obstacle, but it had everything, all turn types and all different types of obstacles. The course was so complex, we broke it down into three areas and each area had its own slalom run. And each area also had lots of crashes. Nothing like a two foot branch to kill your lap time. One of the most spectacular crashes is when you're cruising around fast and low and your front end just clips the ground. Time for a tumble, but you keep your head held up high. Yeah. So that was our 2014 Road Across Season Year in Review Crashapalooza style. If you haven't checked out one of those vids, just check out the Road Across playlist. 
2015 will have even tougher, quicker courses loaded with racer tips that will make you faster. But stay tuned, as we will still be pumping out plenty of quality videos centered around FPV racing. Now, go light it up.